Hey, babe. Home already? God. Nah, it's just... I'm always happy to see you. It kinda sucks that we ever have to be apart. It's just good to have somebody around who gets me, you know? You always know what I'm trying to say. Which is honestly impressive. I mean, even I don't know what I'm trying to convey half of the time. The guys at work, they're nice and all, but I don't have much in common with any of them. I wish one of them at least had good taste in music. But well, I guess it doesn't matter. As long as I know I'm going to see you at the end of the day, I can deal with it. <laughs> it's not a speech. I mean, it's kind of a speech. But what's wrong with that? Maybe I just want to tell the most incredible person in the world how I feel. Would that be so weird? Okay, fair. I don't usually talk like this. That's true. I'm just kind of in an uncharacteristic mood. There's been stuff going on. No, no, not bad stuff. Just stuff. I've been thinking a lot. About us. About the just insane amount of feelings I have for you. No, but that's just the most important thing on my mind. You know how sometimes people say that they fall more in love with someone? Well, lately I've been falling way more in love with you. I mean, lately it's getting to the point where I can hardly even stand it. You turned me inside out in the absolute most best way possible. And well, I'm at the point where I need to express how I feel in a concrete form. In a way that feels solid. Permanent, even. <sighs> I know, I know. You made it really clear when we started dating that I shouldn't get any kind of tattoo that's about you in any way. But I mean, what are we really scared of? We're soulmates. We're beyond soulmates. I can't imagine my life without you. I'd never leave you in a million years. And even if things somehow didn't work out, I'd never regret having a reminder of you. I... Yeah, sorry. But do you see what I'm saying about my feelings? I need an outlet for it all. Well, then you're probably not going to like what I say next. I... want you to get one too. I know. Believe me. That's all that's been on my mind ever since I thought of it. I know you never wanted to get a tattoo. I mean, it is fine. It's not like I've ever been disappointed that you're not tatted up like I am. That's not what it's about. It's about having a solid foundation. You know, it's like... I guess it's like how it's easier to commit to something if you write it down somewhere. Have you ever heard of that? Well, it's true. And if we each have a mark in our body showing how we feel about each other, then it'll be proof to each other that we want this to work. I mean, we do both want this to work, don't we? And anyway, I've got it all planned out. It won't be in a really visible place. Some place only you and I will see. Okay, maybe it won't be that private. That would be, uh, unpleasant. I was thinking more like the, uh, the upper thigh. Yeah, that's a discreet place. And it's one of the less painful places to get a tattoo. It's nowhere near as bad as some people say. I mean, do you think I'd have so many if it was that painful? What experience, that is. <laughs> I'm not that tough. Trust me, you'll be completely fine. I mean, I'm not going to force you or anything. It's not a deal breaker either. 
but I would really appreciate it if you hear me out. I mean, you should at least look at the design, right? Great. I've already sketched it out. Obviously, the real one would look way better, but... I... Okay. It does look kind of edgy. There's not much point to getting a tattoo if you're not going to make it look cool, right? But there's a message in there. Okay, so you can tell what it is, right? I'm not the best artist, I know. But it's a snake wrapped around a heart, biting its own tail. The heart should be obvious, of course. That represents love. But the snake's not just there to look cool. A snake biting its own tail represents infinity. So, put those together and it means, I'll love you forever. See? I want us to be able to show how dedicated we are to each other. And there's another part of the tattoo. Both of us are going to have the heart and snake. But each of us are going to have something to remind them from one another. For me, it's going to be a pair of drumsticks. <laughs> Not from chicken. You know, like for actual drums. I guess you don't remember. It was our first date. I took you to that concert, remember? At first, you were kind of nervous since it was held at an abandoned amusement park. Kind of a weird thing if you're not used to it. But then they started playing a song you really got into. <laughs> so you do remember. You don't have to be so embarrassed. It's a great memory. No, oh, I mean it. Watching you get so into playing the air drums. <laughs> I mean, it was really funny. But more than that, it was the first time I got to watch you come out of your shell. I got a glimpse of the fun, wild, and just awesome person you are. So that's for sure going on the tattoo. I figure I'll have them crossed underneath the heart. Any thoughts of what you might put on yours? Assuming you say yes, of course. A tire iron? Well, I give up. Why do you want... Wait. No, you can't be that serious. I wouldn't think you'd even want to remember that. I whacked you in the head with a tire iron. Not exactly a happy memory. I mean, obviously it was an accident, but why does that make you want to think of me? I, uh... <laughs> yeah, I guess I did fuss over you a lot. I felt so bad about the whole thing. I spent the rest of the day making sure you had absolutely whatever you needed. So, is that what makes the memory so important? The fact that I was worried about you? <laughs> well, don't go spreading that around. If everyone finds out that I have a sweet side, I'll lose all my street cred. <laughs> oh, obviously I'm kidding. I have zero street cred. Just rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> So, drumsticks and a tire iron. Huh. Kind of random. But that's what's sort of the point. When you look at that tattoo, only you and I will know how important it is. So, does that mean you want to go through with it? Oh, how big? Not very. I was thinking about five or six inches across. It wouldn't be visible unless you wore something really short. Nah, it really won't hurt that much. Like I said, I picked one of the least painful spots to get tattooed. And while it does hurt, it's not as much as you're imagining. People tend to blow it out of proportion. So, what do you think? Wait, really? You mean it? Yes! <clears throat> Sorry, it's just... It just really means a lot to me. I was ready for you to say that it just wasn't something you wanted to do. Okay, I don't want to seem like I'm having second thoughts, but are you sure it's okay? Like I said, I know you weren't ever thrilled about the idea of tattoos. I'd hate to pressure you into something you didn't want. Okay, good. Well, in that case, 
I'll just have to get things all set up. My usual tattoo artist? Well, he usually works with people who've already been inked a lot. Like me. We might be able to find somebody that's a... A better bedside manner, so to speak. Listen, I'm just super, super happy about all of this. You want to go get some dinner to celebrate? We can go to that Indian place you like so much. <laughs> well, you're getting that tattoo for me. The least I can do is have a plate of curry. And even if you'd said no, I still just want you to be happy. You make me feel really lucky to be alive. I feel like I owe you so much for just being you. I can't imagine being with anyone else. That, more than anything, is why I want a tattoo. I want to be connected with you. I want what we have to last. And I don't ever want you to forget how I feel about you. I love you so, so much. You mean everything to me.